Jamaica, land of sun, sand, and surprising statistics, you bet. This little island has been quietly climbing the charts to become a tourism titan. We're talking millions of visitors every year, folks. That's right, millions flock to experience the Jamaican magic. But it wasn't always this way. Jamaica's journey to the top has been bumpy, a real testament to its resilience. So buckle up, because we're about to dive deep into how Jamaica went from underdog to top dog in the tourism game. Let's face it, Jamaica is flat out gorgeous. Turquoise waters lap against white sand beaches, while lush green mountains rise in the background. Waterfalls cascade into hidden pools, just begging for a dip. But Jamaica is more than just a pretty face. This island packs a cultural punch that resonates around the world. From reggae music to mouth-watering jerk chicken, Jamaica bursts with a vibrant spirit that's impossible to resist. It's this unique blend of natural beauty and cultural richness that truly sets Jamaica apart. The heart of Jamaica beats to a rhythm all its own. Reggae music, born on this very island, isn't just music, it's a way of life. The legendary Bob Marley put Jamaica on the map, his music echoing the struggles and triumphs of a nation. But Jamaican culture runs deeper than music. It's about the warmth of the people, their infectious laughter and welcoming smiles. It's in the stories passed down through generations, the vibrant art scene, and the spirit of resilience that permeates every corner of the island. This, my friends, is the true magic of Jamaica. Jamaica in the 70s and 80s wasn't all sunshine and reggae. In fact, it was a tough time for the island. The economy was struggling, and tourism, the lifeblood of many Caribbean nations, was sputtering. Visitors were few and far between. Hotels sat half empty. The dream of paradise seemed to be slipping away. Jamaica, with its stunning beauty and vibrant culture, deserved better. But how could it turn things around? The price of paradise. One major hurdle for Jamaica was the cost of getting there. Flights were expensive, making it a luxury destination for many. Tourists on a budget often opted for cheaper Caribbean alternatives. Competition was fierce. Neighboring islands were also vying for a piece of the tourism pie. Jamaica needed to find a way to stand out, to show the world why it was truly special. The challenge was on. Island rivalry. The Caribbean is a crowded marketplace when it comes to tourism. Each island boasts its own unique charm, but for tourists, it often came down to price and convenience. Jamaica was losing the battle. The Bahamas, with its proximity to the US, was a popular choice. Puerto Rico, a US territory, offered ease of travel for Americans. Jamaica, further south, needed something special to lure tourists away from the competition. Image problem. Word on the street was that Jamaica was dangerous. Headlines about crime scared off potential visitors. The reality was far more nuanced, but perception mattered. Jamaica needed a serious image makeover. Safety concerns, coupled with economic woes, painted a bleak picture. Jamaica, once a jewel of the Caribbean, was losing its shine. It was a wake-up call. Change was needed, and fast. The late 80s saw a shift in Jamaica's approach to tourism. The government got serious, investing heavily in the industry. They understood that tourism wasn't just about beaches. It was about creating jobs, boosting the economy, and showcasing Jamaican culture to the world. New hotels and resorts sprouted up along the coastline, offering a range of options for every budget. Infrastructure improved, with better roads and transportation systems, making it easier for tourists to explore the island beyond the resorts. Jamaica was getting ready for its comeback. Investment wasn't just about bricks and mortar, it was about people too. Training programs were established, equipping locals with the skills needed to work in the booming tourism industry. From hospitality to tour guiding, Jamaicans were ready to welcome the world with open arms. This focus on training wasn't just about creating employment, it was about empowering communities. Tourism wasn't just an industry, it was a chance for Jamaicans to share their culture, their warmth, and their love for their island with the world. It was about building a brighter future, together.
Jamaica knew it had a great story to tell, and it was time to tell it loud and clear. Marketing campaigns were launched, showcasing the island's stunning beauty, vibrant culture, and the warmth of its people. The message was simple. Jamaica was open for business, and it was ready to wow the world. Travel agents were courted, media outlets were invited on press trips, and celebrities were spotted soaking up the Jamaican sun. The world was starting to take notice. Jamaica was no longer a forgotten paradise. It was the hottest ticket in town. But perhaps the most powerful marketing tool Jamaica had was its people. Warm, welcoming, and full of life, Jamaicans embodied the spirit of one love that reggae music had made famous. Tourists weren't just visitors, they were treated like family. Word of mouth spread like wildfire. Tourists returned home with stories of stunning landscapes, pulsating music, delicious food, and most importantly, the incredible people they had met. Jamaica's secret was out, and the world couldn't get enough. If there was ever a single event that captured the world's attention and put Jamaica firmly on the map as a cultural powerhouse, it was Reggae Sunsplash. Born in 1978, this annual music festival was more than just a concert. It was a celebration of Jamaican music, culture and spirit. Held under the stars, with the warm Caribbean breeze carrying the sounds of reggae across Montego Bay, Reggae Sunsplash attracted music lovers from every corner of the globe. It was a melting pot of cultures, united by the infectious rhythms and positive vibes of Jamaican music. Reggae Sunsplash wasn't just about local talent, it became stage for reggae artists worldwide. Legends like Burning Spear, Toots and the Maytals, and of course Bob Marley himself graced the stage, electrifying audiences with their soulful voices and powerful lyrics. The festival introduced the world to a new generation of reggae stars, like Jimmy Cliff, Peter Tosh, and Gregory Isaacs, spreading the message of one love far beyond Jamaica's shores. Reggae Sunsplash wasn't just a concert, it was a cultural exchange, a vibrant tapestry of music, dance, and unity. Beyond the music. Reggae Sunsplash wasn't just about the music, it was about experiencing Jamaica in all its glory. Thousands of visitors flock to the island each year, eager to soak up the sun, explore the lush landscapes, and immerse themselves in the local culture. The streets came alive with the sounds of reggae, the aroma of jerk chicken filled the air, and the spirit of one love was palpable everywhere you went. Reggae Sunsplash wasn't just a festival, it was an experience, a celebration of life and a testament to the power of music to unite people from all walks of life. A legacy of rhythm. Jamaica, an island known for its vibrant culture and rich musical heritage, has given the world many gifts, but perhaps none as influential as reggae music. While Reggae Sunsplash may have ended its run in 1997, its legacy continues to resonate today. This iconic festival, which began in 1978, was more than just a series of concerts. It was a cultural phenomenon that brought together people from all walks of life to celebrate the unifying power of music. The festival played a pivotal role in establishing Jamaica as a global music and cultural destination, attracting tourists and putting the island on the map for a whole new generation of travelers. It wasn't just about the music, it was about the experience, the atmosphere, and the sense of community that it fostered. More importantly, Reggae Sunsplash cemented Jamaica's reputation as a place where music and joy reigned supreme. The festival showcased the best of Jamaican talent, from legendary artists like Bob Marley and Peter Tosh, to emerging stars who would go on to make their mark on the world stage. It solidified the island's image as a laid-back paradise, where worries fade away to the rhythm of reggae. The festival's influence extended beyond the music, shaping the perception of Jamaica as a destination where one could escape the stresses of everyday life and immerse themselves in a world of rhythm and relaxation. The spirit of reggae sunsplash lives on, a reminder of the power of music to unite, inspire, and bring joy to the world. Today, its legacy is evident in the many reggae festivals held around the globe, each one a testament to the enduring appeal of this genre and the island that gave birth to it. The echoes of reggae sunsplash can still be heard, a timeless celebration of music, culture, and the indomitable spirit of Jamaica.
from struggle to success. Jamaica's journey to becoming a tourism powerhouse is a story of resilience, determination, and a whole lot of heart. This small island nation, once grappling with economic hardship and an uncertain future, dared to dream big and embrace its unique cultural identity. Remember those tough times we talked about? Empty hotels, dwindling visitor numbers, and a perception problem that painted a skewed picture of this paradise? Jamaica could have easily succumbed to those challenges, but instead, it chose to fight back, to reclaim its narrative, and to show the world what it was truly made of. The key to Jamaica's success lies not just in its breathtaking beauty, but in the warmth, resilience, and indomitable spirit of its people. The lush green mountains, the crystal clear waters, and the golden sandy beaches are just the beginning. What truly captivates visitors is the heart and soul of Jamaica embodied in its people. Their smiles, their stories, and their unwavering hospitality create an atmosphere that is both welcoming and unforgettable. They understood that tourism wasn't just about selling a destination. It was about sharing a piece of their soul, their culture, and their love for their island home with the world. The vibrant dances, the rhythmic beats of reggae, and the colorful markets filled with traditional crafts and goods all tell a story of a rich heritage and a deep sense of community. Tourists are not just visitors. They are invited to become a part of this living, breathing culture. From the taxi drivers sharing stories of their island, pointing out landmarks with pride, and offering insights into the local way of life, to the chefs spicing up jerk chicken with generations-old recipes, each dish a testament to the island's culinary heritage, every interaction became an opportunity to showcase the true essence of Jamaica. Whether it's learning to cook a traditional dish, dancing in the streets during a festival, or simply chatting with a local at the market, these moments create lasting memories and forge deep connections. It was this genuine warmth, this infectious one-love spirit, that permeated every corner of the island. The music, the food, the laughter, and the shared experiences all contributed to a sense of belonging and joy. That turned visitors into lifelong fans, eager to return to the embrace of this Caribbean gem. The bonds formed here are not easily forgotten, and the memories made are cherished forever. Jamaica, with its heart full of love and its spirit of unity, leaves an indelible mark on all who visit. Today, Jamaica stands tall as a beacon of success in the competitive world of tourism. This island, once known primarily for its natural beauty and rich history, has evolved into a premier destination that captivates the hearts of millions. Millions of visitors flock to its shores each year, drawn not just by the promise of sun, sand and reggae, but by the unique experiences that only Jamaica can offer. From the moment they step off the plane or disembark from a cruise ship, they are greeted with the warm smiles and welcoming spirit of the Jamaican people. The allure of experiencing a culture so vibrant, so alive, and so deeply rooted in its heritage is irresistible. Visitors immerse themselves in the lively street markets, where the air is filled with the sounds of reggae music and the tantalizing aromas of local cuisine. They dance to the rhythms of traditional performances and participate in cultural festivals that celebrate the island's rich history and traditions. The island's economy has been revitalized, with tourism providing jobs, opportunities, and a renewed sense of pride. Local Jamaicans have embraced the influx of visitors, finding employment in various sectors of the tourism industry, from hotel staff to tour guides, and even entrepreneurs starting their own businesses to cater to the needs of tourists. But more importantly, Jamaica has shown the world that even in the face of adversity, it can rise stronger than ever. The resilience of its people is evident in their ability to rebuild and recover from natural disasters, and in the inspirational leadership that guides them through challenging times. The joy and laughter of Jamaican children playing in the streets is a testament to the enduring spirit of the island. The power of culture, the warmth of its people, and the unwavering belief in its own potential can transform challenges into triumphs. Jamaica's story is one of hope, determination, and the incredible impact that a united community can have. As tourists and locals come together, they create a vibrant tapestry of experiences that leave a lasting impression on all who visit. This island, with its breathtaking landscapes and rich cultural heritage, continues to inspire and enchant the world. So, there you have it. 
Jamaica's journey from underdog to tourism top dog is nothing short of remarkable. We've seen the struggles, the triumphs, and the unwavering spirit that makes this island so special. Now it's your turn to chime in. Have you ever experienced the magic of Jamaica firsthand? Share your favorite memories, funny stories, or must-see spots in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going. If this deep dive into Jamaica's tourism story has you itching for an island escape, you're in the right place. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to incredible travel destinations. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our upcoming adventures. We've got a whole world of travel inspiration headed your way. Until next time, keep exploring.